Nutrition and Feeding of Family Poultry The Scavenge-Based System The four main types of family poultry production systems are scavenge-based, free-range, semi-intensive and small-scale intensive. Birds need adequate quantities of good quality feed and clean water to maintain productivity and resistance against diseases. Good nutrition is a requirement for all farm animals and one of the fundamentals of animal welfare. Improper nutrition affects not only productivity, but also the health, behaviour and welfare of animals. In extensive systems, Inadequate nutrition compromises animal productivity and welfare. However, in intensive production systems, where animals receive abundant and nutritious diets, excessive or inappropriate feeding may also impair animal welfare. The feed resources available to birds vary according to the production system in operation. Documenting these different feed resources and their use by birds is essential to assessing changes in productivity and profitability. In scavenge-based poultry systems, birds wander freely in the environment and scavenge for all or most of their feed. The size and composition of flocks varies widely depending on the available feed resources. In some areas, supplementary feeding is practiced, subject to the seasonal availability of surplus grain. Generally, housing is not provided, but the birds may be housed in the family dwelling at night or encouraged to roost in trees near the homestead. Scavenge-based production systems are generally populated by locally adapted poultry breeds. Under these conditions, Hens generally produce 40 to 60 eggs per year, and there are high chick mortality rates. Most of the production from scavenge-based poultry systems is eaten or sold within the village. Scavenging birds find their feed among the houses in the village, including leftovers from kitchens and the harvest. Feed is rarely adjusted to their needs, and birds often lack sufficient water. Any water they do find may also be dirty or contaminated. Competition is tough, with young vulnerable chicks competing for feed with adult birds. As a result, many birds die young because of starvation and diseases, or as a result of predators. Feeding family poultry under extensive production systems depends on scavenging in the yard, pasture or range. Planning the management of scavenging poultry means estimating the available nutrients and identifying parameters to assess all scavengeable materials. The quantity and quality of the available material for scavenging determines the scavengeable feed resource base. The scavengeable feed resource base was defined by Roberts and Gunaratna as the total amount of feed available to all scavenging animals in a given area around the homestead. It depends on the number of households, the types of food crops grown, the methods of crop cultivation and processing, and the climatic conditions that determine the rate of decomposition of available feed resources. The scavengeable feed resource, as defined by Sonaya, includes not only feeding materials around the homestead, but also those on free range. Thus, all that are generally or seasonally available in the environment, which birds can use as feed. Feed materials that belong to the scavengeable feed resource include household wastes, materials from the immediate environment, such as worms, snails and insects, food crops and by-products of harvest and processing, by-products of local industries from palm and tree crops, fishing, meat processing and fibre producing crops like cotton and kapok. Green picking such as seeds of cultivated and wild grasses, herbs and fodder trees. And water plants like lemna, azola and ipomea aquatica.
The scavengeable feed resource can be assessed by direct and indirect methods. The direct method uses transect mapping, quadrants, pitfall traps and estimation of household leftovers to create a scavengeable feed resource inventory. This determines the amount of available flora and fauna in the environment. The information is then compared with the actual scavengeable feed resource harvest by visual identification, physical separation and chemical analysis of crop content. Direct estimation of the scavengeable feed resource is a laborious process. One indirect method of assessing the scavengeable feed resource is the MPE method. This calculates the energy required to maintain the birds and production in terms of weight gain and eggs produced. The nutrient harvest from the scavengeable feed resource is influenced by a number of factors. These can include the season, temperature, plant maturity, breed of birds, scavenging experience and feed composition. Understanding these factors will help make best use of the available feed. Poultry owners have a number of options to optimise utilisation of the scavengeable feed resource. One is adjustment of flock size and poultry production to the cropping cycle. Increasing flock size and rearing extra chicks and growers for sale or consumption to benefit from larger feed availability is a good management response. Conversely, flock size should be reduced through sales or consumption during the hunger period, which occurs prior to crop harvest. Keeping multiple poultry species is another way to maximise utilisation of the scavengeable feed resource. Supplementation with grains could be required to fill the gap between the nutritional requirements of the birds and the availability of nutrients from the scavengeable feed resource. Such supplementary feeding also induces birds to return home. Feeding possibilities can also be increased by integrating poultry with rice cultivation, vegetables, fish, cattle and pig production where feasible. Efficient supplementation of scavenging birds requires a good knowledge of the quantities scavenged, the nutrients obtained and the availability of supplements and whether their use would be economical. If the additional production that can be achieved with supplementation is for selling, one should also consider possible extra requirements in terms of marketing and processing of products to judge the potential benefits. This presentation about scavenge-based system is part one of a four-part series on the nutrition and feeding of family poultry.